I'm sure, Daniela, there were days probably, and you hinted a, a few um, that you're like, Phew, um, uh, you maybe want to do something completely different, or maybe there were races where you're like, um, I wish I wasn't part of it. I'm not sure if you had have had that before. What keeps you going in more in the low moments? Um, there's not not the race I thought I won. I didn't want to do that race. I think it's I was was lucky enough that I could pick races I wanted to do. Um, that's very nice if you can do that because yeah, it keeps you motivated. And there's so many races out there in the world um, which are beautiful to go to and and also very beautiful courses. So it's it's always I think that also is is one part why it's, the sport is so amazing because. How, however how many races you've done it's you're gonna find one you haven't and it's like a new challenge and I think that's that's what most important and of course I have I've had maybe some phases or days where I was you know struggling and had maybe having injury or just not thinking I, I wasn't fit enough um, but I think it's important to just let these days pass and not overrate, overrate them um, because it's yeah you can't always feel great it's um because the body sometimes is tired and and you have to be patient with your body that's definitely something i had to learn also through my career to to not always wanting too much and also maybe sometimes take a step back and then go go again when you're a little bit recovered or when you maybe um yeah healthy again so being patient with the body is definitely the pro uh, probably the, the thing I learned the most through the, the sport um, that you can't force it always to, to do what you want.